Hello everyone, Luke here and welcome back to the channel. So we come across this pressure washer and it looks trashed, doesn't it? So let's get this onto the desk and start taking it apart. So I've unscrewed all the screws and now if we take this off we can actually see the contents of the jet wash. And to be honest with you guys, I'm not 100% sure what's actually going on here. So what I'm going to do is just start unscrewing things and pulling things out. So here are the main contents of the jet wash out of its case. And um, from what I can gather online, this part is the pump and this part is the motor. So let's get all this plastic off. I've now got the main portion of the pressure washer disassembled and now we can actually start taking these bits off. So right here, I was actually right, this is the pump. And as you can see, there's some springs. And if we take this middle section off, we can actually see how this works. So, right here is a bearing that is at an angle. This ring goes on top. And as the motor spins, this spins this, presses these springs in a synchronous motion, and that's how the pump works. So here is the universal motor, and these are really popular in Europe in things like uh, house appliances and uh, power tools. And if we take a look at this midsection, we can actually see how this motor is geared. So this spindle right here goes into this point right here, and when that turns, it spins this, which then turns this part right here, and engages the pump. So now that we've pulled all the main contents out of the pressure washer and we have some understanding of how it works, what I want to do is spin up this universal motor. And what's awesome about these is the fact how they can work on AC or DC. So I've got my DC power supply right here and I'm just going to connect it up and put 12 volts into it. So let's turn that on, turn the current up and put it up to 12 volts. Look at it spin. How awesome is that? So this motor actually worked and I want to do something super cool with this. So if you guys have any suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments. So that was actually really fun to tear down and I'm glad that I did it because now I have some understanding on how these pressure washers actually work. Not 100%, but a little bit of an understanding. And if it came to actually trying to repair one of these things, I feel like I could now give it a good go without actually being worried that I'm going to break something. With that being said, that does bring me to the end of this video. If you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to put them in the comments and I'll try my best to answer them all. Anyway guys, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you later.